Spring has sprung and I am back. It's time for me to give you the reality of what is going on currently here in San Luis Obispo County. We are the third most expensive county to live in California. So I got to give you some information if you're thinking of relocating here that could make a difference and we're going to get to it right now. So I just attended this uh, housing summit uh, March 14th of 2024 and it was on the news. It was a sold out event uh, with developers, uh, people talking about policies in San Luis Obispo County and really getting a feel of what is happening right now. And the, we are in an in a housing uh, crisis. So uh, I'm trying to give you the truth. I know this is like a lot coming out. I'm not trying to be negative about it, but I'm having a lot of reach outs. That has been part of the reason of the delay on my videos lately. Uh, it just, the floodgates opened at the beginning of this year, feeling super blessed that you are all, all reaching out. However, I really wanna give you this information. It was even on the news. So I'm gonna bring up that news clip so that we can break it down together and I can go over some of the data with you. And I've got more data to show you um, after that from another organization that really has some good, good information, whether you're uh, a, an employer that thinks that's thinking about coming to the area, you're a uh, you know regular person that is just trying to come to the area, bringing your family, retiring here, second home, uh, whatever it may be, I think these resources will be really, really good if you're a data-driven um, individual. Uh, and then I will give you my perspective of what's going on boots on the ground. So let me bring up that um, news clip um, of the event so I can kind of break down some of the things that are currently going on here in the county. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, start the video here of the uh, a sold event. out event here at the 2024 Slow Housing Summit. I'm Dylan Foreman, your community reporter in San Luis Obispo. As leaders in housing policy and advocacy from across the state took part in a five hour long discussion five focusing hours. on topics ranging from the housing ladder to community housing development. It was really good though. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. Here's a pro tip. You can always speed up uh, these videos a little bit. While there were a variety of topics discussed at the 10th Slow Housing Summit, there was one that most people came to learn about. So that gal you just saw was um, the CAR, California Association of Realtors president. Um, she was a kick in the pants, Melanie Barker. So she came and kind of gave us a, a, her evaluation. But as a renter and resident of San Luis Obispo, I'm curious how our county is going to tackle this. Let's go back. Topics discussed at the 10th Slow Housing Summit, there was one that most people came to learn about. Sorry. But as a renter and resident of San Luis Obispo, I'm curious how our county is going to tackle the housing crisis that we face. In San Luis Obispo County, there is no other way to put it. We are in a housing crisis. San Luis Obispo is so desirable of a place to live that we're seeing the housing crisis here uh, really, really pronounced. Many people at the summit, like the San Luis Obispo Chamber of Commerce Chair of the Board of Directors, Brad Breckwald, believes the main issue is with the high cost of living and limited inventory, meaning local businesses take the hit. The issue is that businesses are ha having a hard time keeping employees because they can't find or live in the area. CEO of the HRM Corporation, Jocelyn Brennan, outlined that although there is job growth, the housing inventory hasn't caught up. So a little bit about Jocelyn as well is um, she's very involved also in uh, the real estate industry in the arena. She's our government official um, advisory of affairs um, for our region, for our area here on the Central Coast. So um, she uh, works hand in hand with the local associations, which I'm a part of the association, uh, but she really um, helps us go to the uh, meetings uh, in Sacramento and tells us about policies and legislation and things like that. So she's a great, great asset to our real estate industry. Homes being built are not keeping up with our job growth, which becomes a very big problem for our local employers and our local workforce. In the current cycle from 2020 to 2028, San Luis Obispo County is in need of 10,810 homes. Good news, more projects and funding have led to an increase in housing permits of 5% from 2009. We've seen more and more support, both in terms of approving projects, but also providing funding. Okay, but did you hear that? 5% increase since 2009. So, 
it's just not enough to the demand that we're getting and the price points that we're in. And we'll talk about price points uh, here in a little bit. So let's finish uh, this a little bit. More. They have made some changes to make ADUs easier to build, to get more um, product on the market and create more inventory. And that does help free up uh, more capacity. So you use accessory dwelling units. Um, uh, Grover Beach, uh, California is is a big proponent of that type of a build uh, and Royal Grande, uh, which is in South County. So is San Luis proper. Uh, and I would venture to say also a little bit more in North County, but there, it's, it's a big thing for us in these other pockets where the cities already have a pre-approved plan that you can use. And then they help you get through the process a lot faster uh, with permits and things of that nature. So ADUs, um, are another uh, solution if um, you know we can push that a little bit more and get more housing. The topic of housing kicked off the summit, but innovations in how to solve that issue were also discussed among a variety of other topics that drew in a large crowd of community leaders, young people looking to learn about buying a new home, local real estate figureheads, and everything in between. You know, if you've been fortunate enough to own a home here, you want to be able to uh, have your kids live here too. So again, yes, that is a huge. Uh, a topic that we were talking about is, you know, I, I mean, I've lived here, I've grow, I grew up here, live here, you know, uh, raise my kids here and I'm still here. But the problem is having my kids be able to live here too. So I, if I live in Grover, then the thought is, well, why don't we add an ADU? You know, those are types of options that I can try to help my kids to come back to the area. But the solutions, um, are off in the distance and, you know, I'm hoping that um, collaborating with all of these um, organizations and these resources that we can put something together. But because of the lack of inventory and the demand, as you heard uh, from Jocelyn, and um, we heard a lot of things that are uh, kind of put, put up a wall for developers, is the expense uh, policy uh and you know time uh that it takes to do all this uh development uh we're not easy it's not easy to get through um the process so that therefore we can't come up with projects that make sense financial sense for people for the developers and then they can't pass that on to the consumer so that is one of the factors so i just wanted to tell you the updated news um, I was able to attend with our association uh, board here that you see. Um, uh, there's Scott Haywood, he's our current uh, Pismo Coast Association president. Jess Burns uh, over there in the red jacket off to the side is uh, the incoming president, Shannon Bowdy with the gorgeous smile and the blonde. She was our uh, past president and Heidi is our state director um, and I am a local director for 2024. So all they're representing our um, association. So that was a lot of fun. And of course, you know, that's, we're all very involved or I try to be involved to bring you the information as much as I can to really give you a heads up of where we're heading, you know, because everybody's like, our price is going to go down and I cannot see that happening anytime soon right now. Um, we are flattening out for sure. We'll go over the data here in a little bit. Uh, but I just wanted to give you some information. I'm trying to bring, and I want to, you know, bring a smile to your face. Uh, but this, that's the So if you're trying to make your way over here to California, the Central Coast is going to be um, a location that you should definitely look out, look out for and consider if you can afford it. And I'm going to bring up another um data-driven organization called REACH. And um, let's take a look at some of the data and some of the information that they have about the area and cost of living and things of that nature to help you make your decision if this is the, a good location for you in San Luis Obispo County. Depending on who you are out there, if you have thought about bringing a business over here, wondering what kind of business can, can make it over here, REACH is your resource here. It's called REACH Central Coast Org and I will link it in the description for you. So this is a great data center, but this is really what it comes down to. I mean, the Central Coast, or I would say San Luis Obispo County, uh, this area, the Central Coast is really a fantastic place. We do have our issues. Um, 
So, of course, it says, you know, here between the coast and rolling vineyards lies an exceptional quality of life, an ideal place to raise a family. And I would also um, take it over to a great place to retire. Um, we see a lot of our retirees come here from other areas, um, really trying to get away from uh, these things that you will see. It's an easier commute here on the Central Coast. You know, we have the coastline, the farm to fresh. You know, I've talked a lot about that before the open space, art and culture, wine country. So, you know, uh, this is the average of 20 minute commute and you can see what your commute looks like. It's beautiful, um, you know, uh, no sky rise. Uh, everybody's, you know, kind of uh, enjoying the drive. Uh, so again, whether you're an outdoor enthusiast, a culinary concierge or arts and culture aficionado, the lifestyle here is w within your reach. So again, it's the lifestyle that you're coming for here on the Central Coast and within different pockets of the Central Coast is, can meet the specific lifestyle that you want. Um, a lot of you say you're okay with the heat, so that's North County. You want some elbow room, so you know we have finger roads, we have different locations. Um, you just want to get over here. You know you're okay with high density or small, uh, but what price point does that look? Does that offer, or what you're going to have to pay? And are you okay with that? um so again this resource here is for you i wanted to bring this to your attention uh to look at the data and again um if we look at uh like they have property search here and, and analysis which is a really nice resource if you're looking for commercial uh for a business or anything like that um also if you're looking for um what types of jobs are around here, this will also be a resource for you. And I can't find the drop down that I'm looking for. I encourage you to take a look at this um, site, this resource here, as you're trying to make your way over here to the Central Coast. I really like this live here uh, drop down. Um, you know, you, a lot of you asked me about healthcare, schools, uh, communities. So you can dive in here. This will help you explore each county of uh, in county each area so you can um, go through this leisure whatever information that you're looking for also again the health care what kind of health care do we have here uh, so again we it's highly rated you know we have dignity health which i've talked about before cottage health and sansom clinic uh, this is all of the central coast however so you're going to have to go to where it says here research on the zip code where you um, are going to be residing and you can do a little bit more research there. So um, again, this is a data driven site uh, and it has a lot of resources. So again, um, when you are uh, trying to make your over here, so like here's labor force data, occupation data. Um, so let's see. So here's like the central coast. I'm not sure. Yeah, so it's saying you know, what kind of um, jobs are available and um, what your wages would be. So this would really help you figure out, um, depending on what kind of occupation you have, where you're at, what it's gonna offer here. And I think you can even break it down more, it's like it says change location here. So then you could go to um, Lompoc, Vandenberg Air Force Base, um, you know, North County, Santa Maria Valley, that's um, in Santa Barbara County, the northern um, part of Santa Barbara County. So, and just know that I have a resource for um, housing in each of these areas all throughout and in on my team. So we can help you with any location that you're looking for. Uh, but I just love this site and there's so much to it. Um, it, and it just will really help you dive in if you're that type of a person that really wants to kind of nerd out on everything. Um, and even if you're just uh, uh, someone thinking of moving over here, uh, researching just um, information about the hospitals, the health industry, what the demographics are, um, you know, here's about Diablo Canyon, the uh, um, Air Force Base, um, and if you wanna get involved in other arenas within our community, um, so key industries here, like this renewable energy, did you know that was around here? We have uh, precision manufacturing, 
um, health and life science, building design and construction. You know, this is, this is interesting here too for building. You know, I've, I'm selling lots and doing those types of things. So you're gonna need an engineer, you're gonna need all those resources. So this would also be a good resource for you. Um, so again, this is more data driven. So this will help you um, understand what's going on in our area. And um, I just wanted you to have an idea of what you're getting into over here on the Central Coast. So currently we've had a little bit of an uptick. It's spring, so that's to be expected. Interest rates high, cash is out there. Because your cash doesn't mean you're gonna get a discount. Some of these prices have, are still kind of being put on the market a little too high. So that's where you'll see some of these drops in the real estate market. So let's go take a look at what's uh, happening in the county right now, price point or you know median pricing and things of that nature to help you get a better understanding of where we're at today. And real quick, if you're finding any of this information of value, please give us a like. It helps other people just like you find the information. We have reached a thousand subscribers. So that in the YouTube space is a really cool thing. I'm beating out there more to um, other people that are trying to find this information to help them figure out if the Central Coast is for them. So leave us a comment, subscribe if you want some more info. We're ramping up again. Um, I know we, it's like a show, you kind of had a, had a little hiatus there. Now we're back in season two <laughs> or whatever. Uh, so 2024 is gonna be a pretty exciting year. Uh, so, but anyways, just give us a like if you would. Subscribe to be part of the Central Coast community. The information for San Luis Obispo County here, and we've got um, the year, last year and the last three months. So we're gonna compare where we're at here in 2024, February, comparing to um, uh, last year. So what I wanted to let you know here is, so here we've got the new listings at 632 for February of 2024. And last year we had 545. So it's actually a little bit more inventory this year um, at this time. Uh, and the other really interesting thing that I wanted to show you is the days on market. So as a seller, uh, buyer, um, you know, you have the average, which is what most um, people use. Uh, it kind of it's going to be higher than the, the median. So in February of 2024, it's going to take 39 days to sell your home because some of these buyers are just on the fence or not really moving uh, on a purchase right now. And here you were last year in 2023. So we had um, 44 days and now 39. So that's actually cinched up a little bit. And then let's go to the median. And the median uh, last year, February was 23 and February of this year was 19. So they've actually uh, tightened up a little bit. Uh, so there's not a lot of inventory and there's not a lot of people looking. So everything's moving a little bit quicker if it's priced right too, that makes a big difference. Now the month supply um, also was pretty interesting for February was 2.2 months and February 2.3. So uh, that means if we stop selling something today, uh, that's all that's uh, as many homes that'll be left in the inventory pool. So two months, 2.3 months, uh, if nothing hit the market um, as of, you know, stopped uh, being listed. So that still leans toward a seller's market. We would need to be around five to six months of inventory for it, for it to lean into a buyer's market. So sellers still have um, a lot of advantage right now because of the tight inventory. And plus specifically here in San Luis Obispo County, as I just showed you through the news and what's currently happening is that we are really, really tight in our specific area. So price per square foot. So for all my land people, all my builders out there, um, that are doing anything or thinking about in the area, we can kind of see where you're at uh, on your um, square footages. So February of last year was 480. February of this year is 516. So things have gone up on the median uh, price uh, per square foot. Oh, sorry about that. And then here's February 
512 and then February of this year 559 so I think this is relative to inflation uh, cost all the things um, and of course again the demand supply and demand there we still have a high demand so that's going to be pushing all these prices up um, so let's look at uh, sales price. This is what, what everybody's wanting to know. So median price right now in February in San Francisco County is 830. And last year, February, it was 775. So as you can see, we're up 7.1%. Uh, uh, so again, if you're waiting for those to kind of go down, it's not happening. And that's 7%, I mean, year over year, the average for a home uh, in equity increase is normally 6% year over year. So we already had that huge push over COVID, right? 2020, 2021. Now we're in 2024, 2023 kind of got weird, you know, with the uh, increase in, in um, interest rates. Now we're in 2024 and we're still up. So, and we're short on inventory. So, you know, we just don't see anything um, happening. It, something tremendously crazy would have to happen for prices to just go down tremendously. So um, this is just where it's at. We're gonna hold tight. We're, we might be a little bit flat, uh, but we are definitely holding tight and homes that are still in a great location, offering value, great amenities, are just going to still uh, see multiple offers. And we are seeing that on some. If it's priced right, you might get, you know, two to three. If your price strategy is for the listing agent to go under market a little bit, then you're probably going to get, you know, multiple, a few, and probably end up where you where you need to be. Um, so there's just different strategies on pricing um, and how you're going to go about that. So let's do the average um, sales price for the county. So last year, February, we were at 915,860. There's those glasses I need. And there's 967,822. Again, an increase of 5.7%, whether you take the median price or the average price. So there it is, folks. I'm giving you um, the data so that you understand where you're at if you're coming into the county and what's happening now um, for specific properties and locations that you're looking for we can do this specifically if you want paso robles the tascadero templeton you know the scenic uh, cayucas cambria or um, arroyo grande san luis south county it doesn't matter we can look at all of this together so that when you end up you know pulling the trigger on something that you feel confident and that you know that you are uh, going to you know write an offer that's going to win that house for you um, and you don't get uh, frustrated so that's why i make these videos is i want you to have the information ahead of time of data not just the national news or not just someone saying oh we're never going to crash or whatever it this this is this is the actual data right here for you um, so this is to help you uh, make uh, a, a good decision as you are making your way over here to the Central Coast. Moving forward onto another uh, factor of uh, reality here <laughs> of what's happening is, uh, you know, everything's just still really, really tight in inventory. And again, the supply uh, is low, demand is high. Um, we have a huge caliber of people moving to the area that are in a financial situation that they're able to uh, really perform on their closing. And that really um, is just where the market is because of the price points that we're at. So uh, you need to reach out to me to tell me what pricing you think yet you would like to move over here for. And I'm gonna tell you what that looks like for you specifically and a lot of you have reached out um i've had you, you been flying in these last couple months that's why i took a hiatus from here it was really difficult uh to get some of these videos out calls we i uh when you call me we do a zoom i'm gonna have a calendar link soon and we'll go ahead and just have you set things up so we can specifically um you know have a conversation about your criteria your needs, your timeline, 
and all the things um, to help you. So again, uh, this is the reality of what's going on. Uh, the market here is really holding tight. Um, it's all the it's all the rave, you know, for our Californians um, that are in high density areas are trying to make their way over here. And that just seems to um, be escalating uh, year over year. Uh, so with, you know, I just that, those are the facts. And I just really want to um, tell you the fast truth rather than a slow lie. And that's the resource that I am for you. Uh, please reach out with your specifics because that's the only way that you're going to really be able to rule out if this is not the place for you, um, whether it's the uh, house that you're going to get here, um, if the cost of living is going to be too high for you. Uh, and I'll probably do another uh, revision of the cost of living. I have a really good one of, of a breakdown of that too, and we'll link that at the end so you can have the information that you need. So again, friends, you know, the only way to help you is you got to reach out. You got to give me a text, email, phone call, day, evening, weekends. It does not matter because I have your back when you're moving to the Central Coast, California. So until the next video, we'll catch you later.